Hey guys, and welcome to my channel again. Today I'm, I'm comparing and reviewing two uh, mineral-based sunscreens. This is Australian Gold. I've been using it for quite a while, uh, at least six months now. And this one is um, Think Baby. I recently got it on Amazon and I've tried it a couple of times. So let's start with this one. Um, 50% 50 SPF, I only use 50 SPF whether it's on my body or on my face. Um, just because I, I my I'm light uh, skin, so um, I generally I burn very easily. So this one has titanium dioxide four percent and zinc oxide four percent, and these are the main main ingredients in this sunscreen. Um, when you apply this sunscreen, um, it leaves a little bit of a residue, whitish residue from the minerals. Uh, some people who are darker complexion might not like this type of residue, um, but uh, I don't mind it as much. It absorbs pretty well uh, and doesn't leave any greasy uh, type of feeling. Um, it becomes pretty matte over time, uh, which I really do like. At the same time, it is water resistant 80 minutes. And uh, what I noticed is it's actually longer than 80 minutes. So when I go on hike, it's usually five to six hours. And then when I get home um, and go and take a shower, I have to hard, uh, try hard to rub it off. It's very difficult to take off. I um, try to use uh, oil-based body wash, but um, even with that, it's very difficult to uh, to remove it. So that, I would say that's the biggest con. Um, for, uh, for for this sunscreen. It doesn't have that much of a smell, very neutral, um, very slight. So I do like this one. Think Baby, it's 50 plus SPF. I'm not sure what plus really means. And it has zinc oxide 20%. Um, this is also water resistant 80 minutes. Uh, so it's kind of the same as uh, Australian Gold. But I noticed that uh, it, it uh, in the shower, it uh, washes off much easier. Uh, when you apply this one, while it does still leave a little bit of whitish residue, as you can see maybe on this, I'm not sure if you can, but um, it is uh, not as prominently visible as um, Australian Gold. Uh, so for my darker skin um, um, viewers, I probably would go for this one, just it will blend in um, better with your skin. It's not ideal, but it is mineral based. I'm not sure if there is another mineral based sunscreen that is not tinted specifically for uh, your complexion that would be of uh, the same quality. Um, also, with Think Baby, it does leave like a little bit of a oily residue, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, and I think that's my biggest con. It's a little bit sticky when, as you hike for uh, for a little while um, and sweat, it becomes stickier. So uh, not a big fan of that. But if I was to compare, I would probably stick for myself, stick with Australian Gold, um, just because it is more absorbent, even though it sticks to your skin and hard to remove in the shower. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna be using this one up um, I'm going to continue searching for a perfect sunscreen that um, that is also mineral based because ultimately mineral based sunscreens are better for the environment. I did research a little bit about titanium dioxide um, and maybe any kind of a negative um, cancer causing type of claims, but in reality, it's quite safe. Um, it's be, it's it, people use it have used it for a long time. Um, so I wouldn't uh, say anything against it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to submit in the comment section below.